Hello and welcome to another episode of M Review. I know I'm trying to uh, grow my own mask. Anyway, on the last episode, I asked for a car and they gave me this the all new Toyota Sienta. Before I start, there are like 600 different variants. So to clear the air, take a look at this. Done? Good. Now the version I have with me is the 2019 Toyota Sienta Hybrid Facelift 1.5G Toyota Safety Sense Parallel Import. So this one is made in Japan. And it comes with things like your power retractable wing mirrors, wireless door lock system, smart entry system, smart start system. And yes, this is the facelifted version. So the front of the car has been redesigned to make it look better. Apparently. Okay, now that that's been taken care of, let's take a look at the car. This, it's not a car. This is a minivan with glass panels and seats. If you Google sad or even ugly car, you'd probably find this shoebox. Just looking at this makes me a little upset. I'm sorry, but look at it. It's a hatchback. Ugh. It has almost no heritage. Its power and torque figures are rubbish. Grab and Gojek has ripped the hell out of this thing. And if you're thinking about it, no, this is not going to impress your in-laws at all. And now, I have to drive this Dappa van. Money. I know it's a parallel import car, but it doesn't come with a radio. This one doesn't come with a gear knob. So I'm supposed to drive this with this gear. Okay. If, like me, you are a driving enthusiast, you will dread driving this car. It comes with the CVT gearbox, which is bloody annoying. I don't know about you, but personally, I hate the CVT gearbox. I call it the rubber band gearbox. Hybrid or not, there's absolutely no power whatsoever. It says 1.5 liters, but really, it feels like 1.5 milliliters. There is a lot of sound, but uh, the car is not moving. This car handles like a goat on roller skates. There's no center console for me to hide my Malaysian cigarettes. The interior looks cheap. In fact, it is cheap with all the plastic. The handbrake is in the wrong position and the meter cluster is racist. Everything is in Chinese. This car, it's one of the quietest cars on the road. Now, I don't mean the exhaust note. No, 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 no. I mean quiet in a bad way. If you're driving beside it, you wouldn't even notice it's there. And when you do see it, you wouldn't give it a second look. There are not many cars that would fit into this very special class, but this one definitely fits it perfectly. I'm sorry ladies, you know I love you, but this is what I call a girl's car. In fact, you know what? This is not just a girl's car. This is a P-plate girl's car. Yes. I just thought of that. That's like a new low. I would show you the engine bay. But I really don't want to waste your time. Speaking of wasting time, I really think we should end this episode here with my rating of this frog. But before that, there's just one little thing. I really thought it was some kind of typo, but nope, this thing is a seven-seater. Now how on earth do you fit seven seats into this thing? Let's check it out. So there are two extra seats right here at the back, which you can of course fold down, but if for some reason, this isn't enough space for you to fit your cheap fishing rods. Check this out. And there you go. It's a little bit of work, but if you ask me, I think this design, it's genius. Speaking of genius, did you guys notice the sliding doors? And it's fully automatic which means you can control it both by the switch inside, pressing the button, or even the remote control. No need to give your helpers lectures on how to open the door in tight car parks. 
yes this version is made in japan and it comes with things like safety sense cruise control smart entry system i think that's pretty decent for a car this price this car depreciates at about 8k a year for what you're getting the diplomatically correct thing to say would be very affordable but no this is the definition of cheap and cheap in the good sense of the word. Speaking of cheap, its power and top figures are rubbish. But that's only because the fuel consumption you get on this car is amazing. About 20 kilometers to the litre. And if you go for the hybrid version, like this one, it's going to cost you about, what, $6,000 more? But your fuel consumption drops to 27 kilometers to the litre. Which kind of explains why all the private hire companies love using this Toyota Sienta. It looks ugly because the designers had to fit seven seats into a ridiculously small space. And I must admit, they did a damn good job. Look at this, I'm about 173 and I still feel very comfortable. It has almost no heritage because it's new, catering to your ever-changing needs. Yes, I still hate the CVT gearbox, but it plays a very big role in getting you that amazing fuel consumption. Handling is crap, but it still gets you from point A to point B. And come on, what do you want to drive this up to Sepang? There's no center console, but you get that added space. So you can cross over to the back without getting out of the car. Useful if you want a Jalsa with a chick. The interior is cheap to keep the price low. The handbrake is a foot brake because you'll never ever need to do a handbrake turn. And the meter cluster, yes, I know it's a parallel import car, but still racist. I feel the designers of this car came together sat down and prioritized a list of all the important things a common man or in this case woman would want and found the most creative and cheapest way to make it and they had some balance money so they invested it in the colors for the price you pay for this model you also get toyota safety sense which actually has a whole load of safety features and if you ask me it's the most important thing to keep you and your fishing rods safe and lastly it is a Toyota so it will start every time you push the start button unless of course your Sienta comes from the agent because those aren't made in Japan I will still stick by my stand of this being a girl's car but instead of some corporate financial advisor who wears a mini skirt to work I would imagine a struggling single mother of three coming out of a poverty trap for the first time driving this simply put this Sienta it's not for someone who wants a car. No kid is ever going to say, when I grow up, I want to buy a Toyota Sienta and start sticking pictures of this car all over his room. This is for someone who needs a car. You'll never want a Sienta, but you will need a Sienta. I don't want to shave, but I need to shave. Those of you with bigger, badder SUVs and large Conti cars may be laughing at the fellow driving this Teletubby but he's going to have the last laugh when it comes to monthly installments and taxes. In fact, he's going to be laughing all the way to the bank. To conclude, given all the variables involved when it comes to buying a car in Singapore, I think the Toyota Sienta, it just makes the most sense. With that, it's time for us to rate this Skittles. So is it going to be a buy, a don't buy or an I don't know? Now right here, I believe this 2019 Toyota Sienta it's an I don't know. Don't forget to like and share this video and also leave a comment on what you'd like me to review next. That's it from me, Jackie. Thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of M Review.